All right, folks, here we go. This is my little assortment of items. I'm gonna assemble everything in a moment, but I just want to show you kind of what I got going on. So essentially, start of the show is our caviar. This is Lake Whitefish caviar. Uh, so yeah, it's not the official expensive um, sturgeon, you know, the black, black caviar, but you know, gotta work with what I can afford. So just starting off with this right now, so want to actually see if I like it you know I think I saw some at Whole Foods were about 60 70 bucks so didn't want to go that deep in so I'm just starting with some uh, white catfish or for not white catfish but uh, white fish but it's got a nice little color to it so I'm kind of intrigued with it uh, I'm gonna be serving them kind of how this picture is uh, these are blini I believe like kind of maybe I'm not sure even savory or sweet but they're like a little Russian pancake kind of thing. Um, yeah, only got 16 to eat and I gotta heat them up in the oven. So, yeah, got a little bit of time left. So, yeah, I think just heat them up for about four minutes out of the oven, but yeah, shouldn't be too bad. And I just kinda got different things I wanna serve them on. The main thing that's gonna kinda top everything is this cream fresh, cream fresh. Uh, it's a traditional cultured cream. This is also something I've never had before. You know, I've had plenty of sand or um, sour cream, other kind of things like that. But no, never just actual cream fresh. So this is the Isigny Saint Mel uh, cream fresh, traditional cultured cream, uh, thick silky texture, perfect pairing with the smoked salmon and warm soup. Also with fresh fruit or pie. So small little can here. So that'll be kind of the base of everything. So that'll be kind of the vehicle driving everything. And a kind of an alternative is some naan. So I don't eat naan too often, but I do like it. So I'm gonna actually kind of see how those compare. I'm gonna try to heat some of these up as well. And, you know, just see if that might be something more affordable because these were pretty expensive. These might've been maybe eight bucks if I remember for the blinis and the naan dippers. You can see them right there. A little bit bigger but you know maybe about four or five bucks from target so you know maybe if you don't want to spend this much money but you want to just kind of get a little can of that you know or you can just do the crackers and i'm gonna kind of do a little setup on that to see how it kind of pairs better with the cream fresh and the um caviar with the crunchiness of the crackers or i might just prefer it being softer and just kind of for garnish and decoration i got a little bit of chive so I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up dinner because I'm really hungry. And oh, and then it's another topper. I've actually been waiting to crack this open for a while. I've got regular Malden uh, sea salt crystals, but this is a smoked sea salt. So yeah, it should be kind of gray. I've never actually opened it yet. So I think it's gonna be gray or black kind of sea salt. So make it pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner. It's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna get everything kind of served up nice and you know, see if this is something I'll have because you know, never have I ever had it. All right, folks, see you in a little bit. All right, later. All right, so I'm gonna give these a little bit of a taste. All right, folks, so I got everything assembled. Uh, a couple little technical issues, but we are gonna go ahead and move past that. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna do a little stand-up taste test. So uh, first thing I'm gonna try is, I'll start with the crackers. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a try. Let's see how this is gonna be. Oh my God, okay. All right. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm. That wasn't, that was pretty good. Actually, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually just try the caviar by itself. Cause I think I tasted it in there, but the cream fresh and the, and the cream fresh and the other items kind of masked it. So I'm gonna actually just try it by itself. So let me go ahead and try that really quick. All right, so I got a little bit of the caviar itself and it's a really nice golden color. I really like that. So, and you know, I don't wanna get too much metal to alter the taste. So I got just a little bit there. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot just by itself. Yep. Hmm. It's got like little pops to it. Salty, fishy, 
but a good fishy though. It's not like a bad kind of, ooh, I don't like it fishy. Not sticky at all. Like it kind of gets a little goopy, but that's not bad at all. You can almost see inside the little eggs. It's actually, oh. You get these little, every once in a while you get a little tiny pop when your teeth line up. Oh wow. I just want to keep. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that's pretty good actually. I like that. All right, so I'm back with my plate. So I'm going to go ahead and try the cracker again. And it's got a little bit of the sea salt on it, smoked sea salt. So let me go ahead and give that a little try. That's pretty damn good. Oh my God. Like you get these, you almost get like a sweetness with the cream fraiche. And I'm probably mispronouncing that so wrong. I kind of just want to go into the bit with Stan's dad from South Park where he just, you know, busts out the cream fraiche. Just a really bad accent. But, oh man, that's pretty good. So I'm going to try a blini. I've never had a blini. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. It's cooled off since I um, heated them up, but all the same temperature, so let's check them out. Definitely saltier, duh. Mm. Ooh, might have been a little too much salt. Oh, girl. And it's gonna sound self explanatory, but that one was different because everything was softer. It almost kind of just melted in your mouth. The blini had its own nice little taste. Um, it, it's hard to describe, but actually it's, it's a new taste, but I like it. I really, really like it. It all, this works together really well. Oh my. And every little, once in a while, you get a nice, nice little flaky bit from the sea salt. And it just gives you a nice little crunch um, with any of them. I haven't noticed any of the chives really. So it definitely helps with presentation, but I don't think it's made too much of a difference, too much of a difference and I don't want to keep putting too much on. So it's, it's nice for looks. Um, so yeah, actually I'm gonna try the non to compare it. See how that one is, so pretty nice. It's fluffy, fluffy and big. All right, let's see. I think it's how you do all. Mm. Wow, so that was actually completely different from the, um, taste-wise similar, but different, but texture-wise, way different from the Bellini. So the non is much chewier, and it gives you, and obviously it's bigger, so it's more to chew, but, you know, it's not stale by any means, it's not, bad chewy but it almost kind of gives it like a mediterranean taste so it, like it's different wow it's crazy how they the ingredients just the carrier so to speak kind of changes it up completely but wow I, I like it yeah yeah overall now mind you this isn't that feeling you know i've only made nine i'll probably have some more for dinner but you're not gonna get too filled. This works, this would work amazing as an appetizer. Like if you just wanna set a little charcuterie board, size kind of thing, and just maybe put nine, 10, 11, 12, 15 on there. Wow. That's a, that would be a great way to get even like a sushi platter started or something you wanna do at home, a nice steak even. Or you just get a really great piece of salmon or sashimi. I really like this, so super impressed with it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat these up. If I had to give this a rating, this would be a five star dish. And I can only kinda, I can't wait to see what other ways you can actually make this. Cause I made the most basic version you can think of, you know, cream fresh, caviar, some little kind of garnish. But, you know, I'm gonna try, you know, just smoked salmon. There's a lot of things I wanna do with this now. So yeah, five stars, I'm really, 
disappointed I've never hit caviar up till now. So this is this is a this is a winner. I'm gonna look into this more caviar alternatives. I've seen this kind of fake caviar at Walmart. It's like some kind of kelp or seaweed kind of caviar. It might be a good alternative. Just you just want that kind of salty taste, fish egg kind of bubbly, poppy boba kind of thing. But yeah. You might see some more recipes coming up on the channel soon, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever had it? You know, I've never had it, but now I can take it off the list. I got some other things I want to try. Uh, hit me up in the comments. I got some more videos coming up, more movie reviews, product reviews, and I will see you guys next time. And leave me alone. I'm going to eat some damn dinner. All right, later. Bye.